guys, welcome back to Tammy's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you guys on how to decorate the perfect birthday cake. So let's start. First on the ingredient list, here I have 500 grams of margarine. Here I have 1000 grams of icing sugar and 3 teaspoons of vanilla. First you are going to make our cream which is combining all these three ingredients which I have right here. First you are going to put the margarine into our mixing bowl. And you are just going to beat it for a few seconds just to get it more airy. And now our margarine is ready. We are going to take the vanilla and add all of it in. And we are going to mix it again. And now it's time to add the icing sugar. But before we add the icing sugar, we are going to scrape our bowl. For this process, you are going to add little by little icing sugar because you don't dust flying everywhere onto your kitchen. You are going to first add one cup as you mix it. Our cream is finally ready to go onto our cake. But first, we are just going to fold it in for one last time. It's finally time to decorate our cake. We are going to take a small spatula, take a small blob of cream and place it onto your board. After you have placed your cream onto the board, we are going to take the first layer of cake and place it onto your board at the center. We are going to take an offset spatula, take some cream and place it onto your first layer of cake. Just spread it out evenly. Be patient with this step because it takes a lot and a lot of patience. You will never know when to stop adding, adding cream, but you'll just know when it is enough. And our first layer is finally done. Just a little bit more cream. And there you have it, our first layer. Now we are going to take the second layer and place it upside down and place it. Make sure it's all even. After you have placed the second layer, we are going to do the crumb coat. The crumb coat will just help the cake, the outer layer look more neat. We are just going to take a little bit of cream and spread it all around the cake. Just a little bit, not a lot. And make sure it looks neat. So that when you put the second layer of cream, the second layer of cream will look neater. And if you want more uh, tips li like this, make sure to go check out my YouTube channel at Tammy's Kitchen and also my, Instagra uh, my Instagram page at Tammy's Kitchen 2020. And I hope to see you guys there.
my favorite part in baking is the decorating part. It just helps me to get out all my creativity onto the cake, which will just make other people happy. And they're just going to keep smoothening it out as we add more cream to our offset spatula. Make sure you fill up the small spots at the bottom so that it will be smooth. And now after you are done with the crumb coat, we are going to place it in the freezer for 10 minutes so that it hardens. And now as our cake is in the freezer, we are going to now start preparing for the outside coating. For the outside coating, I'm going to use two colors, which is purple and pink. So now I'm going to divide my buttercream into two. For this process, you can use a wing scale, but for me, I just like eyeballing it with my eyes. After you have divided all your buttercream into three, this is just for the white part. Now we are going to color both of these. Here I have the color pink. Just add a drop. And they are going to take a spoon and mix all of it together. Now our pink is finally ready. Now we are going to work on the purple. I'm going to add a drop. And if you want to color your buttercream, make sure do not use powder colors because powder colors will just make the cream bitter. So I prefer using gel colors. Now my cake is out of the freezer. It's been 10 minutes and it has hardened. So now I'm going to take a straw and measure it. It's about here. And I'm going to place it at the center of the cake. Putting the straw into the cake will help it to stabilize and for it not to tilt each side. For easier working, we're going to take our piping bag and open it up. We are going to take some cream of the pink color and place it inside. My colors are ready to go onto the cake. We are going to cut a big piece at the tip. And I'm going to pipe it all around the cake. Now we are going to take our offset spatula and smooth it out. We are going to put a pink color now.
Make sure you don't mix the colors too much. Then you are going to fold in the edges. As you scrape out with the smoothener. Now we are going to take our piping tip and place it at the bottom. And we are going to cut the piping bag. Just like that. And now we are going to place all the three colors inside. Now after I've placed all your three colors into the piping bag, now it's time to pipe. We are just going to add a little bit of pressure and we are going to pipe round and voila. Now we are going to put some stars at the bottom. We are just going to press and leave. Now we are going to keep adding Oreos all round. Our cake is finally ready. It looks good. But because it's a birthday, we are going to place this stand just right at the middle. And because it's a one-year-old birthday, I'm going to place this one-year candle for her. Here. And there you have it, a birthday cake. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this is just one of many decorations that I've done and you al if you also want to see more of this go check out my YouTube channel at Tammy's Kitchen and also my Instagram page at Tammy's Kitchen 2020 and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!